Hello, I'm Molly Scott Cato, a Green MEP who works for you in the European Parliament. Thank you so much for your fabulous pieces of work, which I will take to Paris with me. They will be presented to a very important conference where world leaders will try to reach an agreement on tackling climate change, one of the biggest challenges the planet faces. I actually think there's a good chance that leaders, under pressure from the public, including from children like you, will reach an agreement to cut the greenhouse gases that are responsible for changing our climate. Scientists say that to avoid the worst effects of climate change, such as increased floods and droughts, increases in some diseases, food and water shortages and loss of wildlife, we must make sure that by the time you reach my age, the average temperature of the Earth is no more than two degrees warmer than it is now. Unless governments take urgent action, the Earth could be a whole four degrees warmer by the time you have children or grandchildren. So what must our leaders do? They must agree to stop spending our money supporting fossil fuels, such as oil, gas and coal, and invest that money instead in renewable energy from the wind, waves and sun. They must make the polluter pay and make it cheaper to be green. They must especially help the poorest people of the world who have produced the lowest amount of greenhouse gases but face the worst effects of climate change. The rich countries must provide poorer countries with types of energy which do not pollute so they can develop their economies in a clean, green way. Earlier this year, I produced a report and it showed that the southwest of England, where we all live, could produce more than all the energy it needs from renewables like wind and solar. This would also create lots of skilled, highly paid jobs in our region. We simply do not need to carry on using dirty oil, gas and coal. I really hope that when you reach my age, we will no longer be using those fossil fuels. The parliament I am a member of has called for them to be phased out by the middle of the century. The important COP21 climate meeting in Paris is where world leaders could agree to the cleaner, greener and more healthy future we will all benefit from. I'm doing all I can to make sure they do that. And thank you for being part of this effort to create a better future for us all and for the world we share.